And Ole Miss won the toss in the first, so it is Brian Cole on the return for the Bulldogs. And a good return out across the 30-yard line. Third and a dozen. Schrader hit as he throws. The pressure came in from... Plumley keeps it. Great pickup. Hurdles a man. Has a first down. He said this Plumley guy is going to play baseball. He's a freak athlete. He showcasing the girl. And now it's Jerry and Ely, the true freshman who's been running well in the step. While he practiced all week long. Trying to respond in this environment as he tosses to Ely, who lost the football. Mississippi State has the takeaway. Brian Cole with the recovery. When you talk about impact players for Mississippi State, you got to start with Ewald Thompson. He causes the fumble, and Brian Cole, another leader, captain, impact player, comes up with the recovery. They talked about Ely not putting the ball on the ground. He does a nice job of protecting it. But a huge stop for Thompson early on. Four possessions, three three and outs, and a fumble combined. Garrett Schrader heaving it towards midfield, and it's caught for a first down by Dedrick. Schrader off the read, dumps it off for Isaiah Zuber, the former Kansas State Wildcat. Thank you, parts for Ross Green. Eight the brand as well. It's beautiful for the brand. Send it for your teammate to celebrate a little bit. So in a snowstorm, had a blast, kicked the ball far. In the snow, that's pretty good. Celebrated hard. As always, Garrett Trainer, you guys talked about his running ability. He runs it on third and 12 for a first down. Here, bud. Little read play, hole for Kylan Hill. Blocking from his receivers downfield, and he takes it inside the 15. This time a keep and a touchdown for Schrader. Exactly, Pat, what you pointed out. It might be a chance for Schrader, and he punches it in for the yeah, fifth especially time. Especially when you... Nice little trickery by Plumlee as he finds Elijah Moore for the first time. Their leading receiver finally gets into it on third down. There they come with the blitz. Plumlee got rid of it, and he finds his man in Dennis Jackson, the true freshman from some rail, Mississippi. It's the formation, how spread, it, spread out it is, how far away the wide receivers are. Plumlee rifles it over the middle to Braylon Sanders. Down inside the 10 yard line, first and goal. Going into a lot of the students. Plumley with Connor blocking. Opens up the hole for the touchdown for John Rice Plumley. Number 12 on the ground for Plumley in his true freshman season. Only done. Now and later. Not a great uh -oh. candy, by the way. Tucker Day. Athlete. Here we go. Very exciting moment for Pat McAfee. Mm -hmm. But Tucker Day's got nowhere to go. And the Ole Miss offense will set up in plus territory. I'm sorry, guys, but that is not good for the brand. It, it looks like the punter just drops the snap pad. I'll let you take it. Yeah, the first thing you have to do as a punter is always catch the ball. He gets it back up. I think he could have got one off there. Instead, he opts to run for it on fourth and 11, which is not a great decision. Going to have to learn from that from later. Gets tackled short. Big play by the special teams for Ole Miss. Pat, what happens when you drop the ball? Where does your where do you, uh, your eyes go? What's the first thought that you have to try to pick up a play? Well, first things first, you probably panic immediately. And I think that's what he did. But then you got to get your eyes on field just like a quarterback and See if he can get one off. I think in the future he would choose to punt that instead. And I think he could have gotten it off. And the way the college rules are, you're allowed to punt it with guys downfield. Yeah, very different than the NFL rules. 
Plumley serving at the last moment. He finds Jerry and Ely for a first down. They fake the reverse. Plumley's got a lot of room on the near side of the field, and he's got the first down. He'll take it out at the 12. You guys said something to me during the break. It has to come these next few years. Hand off. Ely towards the edge, lunging for the goal line and in. Huge touchdown for Ole Miss. What a response by the Rebels after the Bulldogs got out to a two-score lead. It's a huge response, and it ate up some clock. A really nice block here by Mingo, the wide receiver on the edge. Helps Ely get in. Yeah, Ely, a freshman. John Rice Plumley, a freshman. Didn't blink here. Mingo, a freshman. Rich Rod's been doing this for 20 years. Yep, we talked about it. Pat White, one of the original innovators of that at the quarterback position. Ely, another good run out across. You mentioned those guys have started every game this season. Plumley, a little sidearm sling past the sticks for Dennis Jackson. They know each other in one way, one shape or form, one way or another. They played against somebody or they're related to somebody or mm. they looked up to somebody. Connor able to surge ahead. What a second, third, even. You got to either throw it somewhere or throw it away. Plumley under pressure, wants the football. Bulldogs have it. Mississippi State has it. And then the ball comes free again. The Bulldogs will hold on. Willie Gay Jr. Welcome back to the lineup. Chauncey Rivers knocked it loose and Gay was Johnny on the spot. Plumley's trying to make a play. Tries to do a little bit too much. Probably a fumble. The referees rule it a fumble on the field. Gay's able to pick it up and make something happen. We mentioned he... They didn't want to risk it tonight. Fourth down and short. Schrader lumps it up there and is caught by Dedrick Thomas for a first down inside the 15. And K.J. Wright's got a big, giant mural on the stadium. Garrett Schrader in for the touchdown, and Mississippi State jumps back out in front. Trader has two rushing touchdowns. Nick Gibson has the other one for Mississippi State. And he's still on his feet out there midfield. Savage. And here he comes. Matt, great call. What did you see? Oh, wait, the ball's loose. That's what we see. Ole Miss takes over at the 33-yard line. And you nailed it, Hasselback. Keedron Smith came in on the corner blitz. And it's Josiah Coatney out of the pack with the football. Yeah, it's a big play. I mean, anytime the ball is on the hash, as a quarterback, you got to find that safety on that side. I think Matt Corral's in. Oh, for Matt, I beg your pardon. It is Matt Corral, change at quarterback, redshirt freshman. And Matt, you pointed it out. You thought it. Some people think Matt Corral is maybe a better passer. They blitz him on this first down, and Drummond gets loose again. Two passes, two connections with Ontario Drummond, the Laurel, Mississippi native down inside. Second down for Ole Miss, Matt Corral. Nope. Rifles and is picked off. Marcus Murphy, another formerly suspected player, makes a huge play in the end goal. Well, this is just a rookie mistake. Matt Corral gets too little too greedy. He pumps it short and tries to throw it deep, but Murphy is right there. This ball had no chance. This is almost like a predetermined idea or a throw. He overthought it. Scrimmage. Big boy football. Oh, a pass for Schrader. He's trying to get one off. And he is hit. Brought down by Jacquez Jones. What a job he's down and 24. He's got launches. Sanders caught it down inside the 30 yard line. Braylon Sanders, the biggest catch of his life. Like I was.
was saying Matt Corral was going to do something special <laughs> in this moment. This is unbelievable. Everybody focuses in on Elijah Moore. I get it. Here comes the pressure. Corral towards the goal line. It is caught. It is a touchdown. Elijah Moore. And they're an extra point away from tying the game. And penalty markers get thrown after the play. Oh. The kick is up, and it is no good! There are flags all over the field. The Bulldogs are celebrating. There's still four seconds left in this game. There are still four. Reach from about 60, 65 yards. They got to get the ball and get it fast. They won't. Mississippi State has it. 